Hello and welcome to my Tarot Corner. I hope you are all doing great. So today I am going to do a reading about Camilla. It comes after a Neil Sean's video in which he says that Camilla is actually willing to forgive and forget everything that Harry has done to try and undermine her. Uh, he paints a picture of Camilla as being a much light-hearted person, someone who does not hold grudges, someone who is willing to let things pass, a lot easier going than the king himself. So. If anyone here is going to be more difficult to, uh, to let it pass, it's going to be King Charles, not Camilla that will be there spewing hatred in, uh, the, queen, in the king's ear. Uh, and afterwards, I saw an interview with Petronella Wyatt, who is a very good friend of Camilla, even before she married King Charles uh, when she was still married to, uh, to uh, uh, I can't remember his first name, but her first husband, Mr. Parker Bowles, and they were, uh, go, uh, they were uh, socializing in the same social circle and she knew her, she liked her very much. She said that she was a very unpretentious person, that she was a very good person, that she never had any ambitions, she never wanted anything, uh, and that uh, the entire uh, uh, rekindling of the, um, of the um, affair between her and King Charles uh, happened after he was in a very bad situation after the marriage uh, between him and Princess Diana were already dissolving and Princess Diana was already having all, uh, affairs with other people and he was in a very bad state and people called the, uh, Camilla and uh, asked her to, put, to, to get in touch with uh, Charles because he was in a bad state. And it's not the first time that I'm hearing that story. But she also said that Camilla is a lot more forgiving than King Charles and that she would be willing to forgive a Prince Harry if it means that he comes back to the family and that it will mean that he will be able to have a good relationship with his father. Now, one thing that Petronella Wyatt said that intrigued me was that she said something about leaks. And as you all know, uh, Harry uh, blamed Camilla on, on leaking information about him and about uh, William. And the one... Uh, the one uh, the one, sorry, the one example that he used was say it, it, uh, the coming out of the, the information that, was, that came out about Camilla's meeting with Prince William. <clears throat> that information came from Camilla's aide, an aide that, uh, was, uh, that uh, was not fired, but she left her job. And uh, that wasn't Camilla who uh, uh, leaked that information. But what Petronella Wyatt said was there was a lot of information about Prince Harry that she could have le leaked to the media and she didn't. And in light of all of the information that came in Quora about Prince Harry in the past few days, and you all know what I mean, uh, it made me think about all of the secrets that Camilla knows and that she could very easily make them come out 
and she doesn't, and she didn't. And uh, Harry is playing with fire here. So he knows that Camilla wouldn't go out against him because she loves his father and she doesn't want his father to feel more miserable. So I'm going to do a spread about Camilla and uh, about the past, about the present, about the future of that relationship and about what is her best court course of action. This is like a, a, a mini Celtic cross. It's an eight card a, a spread. I'm not doing a Celtic cross because I'm using this beautiful which is Wisdom Tarot, which, and the cards are just huge. So it's a lot easier to use an eight card spread and not the uh, 10 card spread of the Kelty Cross. So let's start by saying my disclaimer. This is a tarot reading. It is vibrational. It is open to interpretation. It exists as assumptions and speculation and as such may or may not be true. So please do your own research and decide for yourselves. Okay, so let's finish this up and clear the deck. See that I'm holding in the right direction, so clearing the deck. Let's start asking. So how does Camilla feel in seeing all of the hatred that Harry is spewing against her? Is she really willing to forgive him and forget what he's doing right now? What can we see about their past relationship what can we see about her present feelings towards him? What can we see about the future of that relationship? Does Camilla really willing to forgive Prince Harry for what he has done and for the hatred that he's spewing against her in his book, Spare? Okay, so let's cut the deck. This is really a huge deck. I can hardly hold the cards with my tiny hands. And the first card is the theme card, which is the way that Camilla feels right now. And what I'm getting here is the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is the card that, first of all, it's a mother card. And uh, you can see the, uh, the moon here is very prominent. And in a way, uh, Camilla feels that she was a mother to those children, to Harry and William, for a very big part of their lives. And the Eight of Water, the Eight of Cups, is a card that is speaking about letting go. So if we're talking about is she willing to let go of the fight, to let go of the resentment of everything that, uh, uh, the, the hatred, the, the, uh, the let's say, the, the bad feelings that she's having in regard to what Harry has been done, has, has been doing, uh, it, this card is showing us that, yeah, she is. She doesn't want to go into a fight. This card is showing that she's willing to let go of the struggle. She's uh, letting go uh, so she could, so, she, so Harry could, it will be able to see the truth. Uh, here we see these small turtles going back to the sea. It's like the children that are going back to the sea, going back to where they belong. And uh, it's not like the, uh, the conventional Eight of Cups that we know, uh, but it is a card that shows us um, a, a, 
Well, she looks at Harry, she sees a person that uh, is very, very uh, mentally disturbed. And she realizes that many, many of the things that he does, much of the hatred that he is uh, spreading around is because of his mentally instability. And she is willing to let go. She doesn't want to go into this, uh, into this uh, battle. She doesn't want to start fighting about this. So right now she is, she's, she's desperate. She's, she's, uh, she's down. She doesn't, she's not happy. She is, uh, um, she's not feeling very happy. She's not feeling very joyful. Uh, she's really, but she's really w willing to let go, especially if it means that uh, Charles will be happier. Uh, this card shows that she's willing to leave the struggle. She doesn't want to start a fight. So this is the first card. Now, what can we see about the past of their relationship? And in the past, their relationship was the three of earth, which is the three of pentacles. So in the past, as we saw Harry himself say in, the, in one of the interviews when he was asked about Con uh, Camilla, he uh, said that Camilla makes his father happy, and that is all. Uh, that is enough for him. And uh, he said that they love her to bits. Uh, now I'm not sure that he meant all of that, but the three of uh, pentacles is about recognition and reward. So it is about some kind of a collaboration. It is about a, you know, taking a step forward. It's about advancement. So in the past, they were collaborating. They had a good relationship. And you can see here that there is this mother horse and this uh, child horse, and they have this good connection. They, ha they have this a good relationship between them. So the three of earth, the three of pentacles, speaks about collaborating together, being together, and it's a three. So there are three people here. That could be Camilla, Charles, and Harry. That could be Camilla, Harry, and William. But there is a collaboration of three people that are having recognition that this is Harry recognizing Camilla's uh, part of his father's life, the, 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 thing, the, the part that she's taking in his father's life, how important she is in his father's life, and the reward that he's getting from being so obliging to, to, afford, to Camilla and to his father in this relationship. And the reward is getting a, his father confirmation, getting Camilla's a, a warmth and her a, a good feelings and getting the reward even monetarily, even, uh, even a reward that could be uh, could be uh, uh, spelled down to uh, to gifts to money, but altogether he was rewarded for having that uh, recognition in Camilla's uh, part of King uh, Charles's life. So in the past they had a good relationship. No matter what he says today, this is what there was in the past. What can we see about the present right now? How does Harry feel about Camilla right now? And I'm not talking about what he says in the book. How does he really feel? And what we're getting here is the five of fire. The five of fire is the five of wands. So five of wands is a card of a struggle, but it is a victory struggle. It is a, a struggle that you can win, but only if you are asking for unconventional help. So it is a positive card in the aftermath, but 
this is, but he sees the struggle. He sees the struggle and he uh, sees the feuds. He sees the difficulties. Uh, this is a person, he looks at uh, Camilla and he sees all of the difficulties that he has in regard to her. He sees the fights, he sees the feud, he sees uh, the, the struggles, and he doesn't think about how he can resolve that. Now, in this card, the son is very prominent because this is the father, and he's thinking about his father, and his father is connected here. So he thinks about his father and that the way to his father is to uh, have a good relationship with his mother, with his stepmother, but he cannot have that good relationship with his stepmother unless he asks for a help from the side, for an unconventional help. But if he doesn't do that, uh, then he won't be able to uh, win that struggle. He won't be able to reach his father. And then he gets into unnecessary quarrels, into power struggles. This, is, this shows over self-confidence. It shows disrespect. And it shows a difficulty in receiving the right kind of help. Uh, it, it shows inability to understand that the, harsh, the hardships that really are in front of him. So uh, this card shows that he understands Camilla's rule in his father's life. He understands that he will have to ha make peace with Camilla if he wants to have peace with his father, he doesn't understand that for this he will have to have some help, some unconventional help, and he doesn't know how to ask that. He doesn't know how to even start getting that. Okay, so what can we see for this future of this relationship? And in the future of this relationship, we see the Eight of Air. Now, the Eight of Air, that is the Eight of Wands. This is not a good card. It is a card of bondages and shackles. Now, in this instance, we see uh, this, uh, <clears throat> this um, I don't know, it's a falcon or, or a, I'm not sure. Okay, according to the book, it's an eagle that is flying just beneath the sun. Now, the Eight of Air, which is the Eight of Swords, is all about uh, shackles and bondages, but it is about emotional shackles, emotional bondages. This is about an inability to move forward because of those emotional blockages, inability to act on cold consideration because of your emotional blockage. And this card is badly aspecting the five of, uh, of uh, fire that came before it. But it is also a card that shows, uh, that speaks about uh, the betrayals. It speaks about secrets that need to be kept. So once again, as I said, Petronella Wyatt talked about the things that Camilla could have uh, uh, leaked about Prince Harry and she didn't. There are a lot of secrets that need to be kept. And this card shows us that those secrets are there and uh, they, uh, they, and this, there is this very, very thin line of equilibrium that uh, needs to be kept in order for those secrets not to come out uh, in public. Because right now they are coming out in all sorts of uh, roundabout ways, but uh, nobody is coming out and uh, admitting them in public. But there are secrets, there are things, I'm not sure that we're talking about the same thing, but there are secrets that need to be kept. This is a card of 
inability to see reality. This is a card of despair, depression. So this is the future of this relationship. Not a very uh, good, good uh, foresight for this relationship. And this is how it's going to move forward. Unfortunately, not in a very good way. Okay, so what is the best course of action for Camilla? What should she do? And we're getting the three of fire. The three of fire is the three of wands. And the three of wands is about a collaboration. It's about a recognition and it's about a cooperation. So this card is telling Camilla that she needs to move forward. She needs to have the recognition and the uh, collaboration and the cooperation of the people around her, of the king, of the people who support her, and she to move forward. And as I always tell you, the, the, the suit of fire or the suit of wands is all about uh, this... Uh, this voyage to get your potential uh, realized in the material world. And for Camilla, this is the next step. So Camilla needs to move forward, to move forward in her, uh, in her uh, way, in her uh, pathway, not to look back, not, and, and this card is only a, telling us that the first card is right. This is what she should do. She should let go. She should let go of what of everything. She shouldn't pay attention to that. And she should just let the, the, the people that are supporting her to cooperate with her. She needs to get the recognition that she deserves and to move forward and to uh, have what to move forward and to get the recognition she deserves from the people. And I believe that all of the hatred that Harry is spewing against her is only helping uh, her to uh, get her image even uh, better in the eyes of the Britons. Of the Britons. I don't think that anyone changed his opinion on Camilla because of what he said, if any, people changed their opinion to the better, not to the worse. But this card is telling her, put the past behind you, just move forward, move forward to get your potential realized. If that potential means to become queen concert, then this is what it means. This is what you should strive for. Okay. Next card is the influences, and the influences are, is the outside influences. So what are the outside influences here? And what we're getting is the three of air. The three of air, that's the three of swords. Three of swords, that's destruction and failure that comes in advance, that, knows, that is known in advance. So that is the heartache, that is the sorrow, that is the heartache of the king, that is, remember that we're talking about outside influence, it's also her heart, heartache. They knew in advance that they are going towards that. And this is a destruction and a failure that they knew that they are going towards that. They had no reason to believe that Harry isn't going to, uh, to spew hatred against them in his book. They had every reason to believe that he's going to go against every, each and every one of them. So uh, maybe they were hoping uh, that uh, they wouldn't have to deal with that. Maybe they were hoping that it wouldn't be so bad, but they still ended up in this energy. So this is about the heartache. This is about the, the uh, feelings of self-destruction, the feelings of inability to finish things, the feelings of gloom, the feelings of uh, uh, well, 
anxiety, depression, all of those feelings that are not only Camilla's, but also the people around her and the most, mostly the person that she cares most about, the king, who really is heartbroken. And this card, we don't see the heart and the three swords in it, but this card really represents very, very, uh, well, represents it very uh, acutely, how the king's a heartache and how his broken heart is influencing Camilla and the way that she feels and the, the way that she acts. And uh, the next card is what is she hoping for or what are her fears are. And what we're getting here is card 19, which is the great mother. So let me see in the book what it means. Okay, so in this deck, it's going uh, uh, backwards. So the uh, numbers, the the numbers are going backwards. The number nineteen is actually the Greek number three, which is actually the Empress. So the Great Mother is the Empress, and this shows that Camilla actually hoped to be become the empress in the meanings of being that woman that will give everything that she can give without asking anything in return. And many people say that about Camilla. Maybe many people say that she had never had any ambitions. She never really thought about marrying uh, Charles. She never wanted to become queen. And all of these ambitions are Charles's ambitions, not hers. And she always wanted to give and to she never asked anything in return. And this is her hopes. She hoped to be able to give and to be able to be that mother, to be able to be that person that is giving and not asking for anything in return. And this is how she wanted to be seen. This is how she wanted people to see her. This is how she wanted the, the boys to see her, William and Harry. She wanted to be that mother for them. She wanted to be, to be a, someone who is caring for them and not asking for anything in return. This is what this card is all about. This is what the Empress card means. And this is what she's hoping for still. She still wants to serve. She still wants to give. She still wants to be able to help others. She's not asking for anything in return. She really, really wants to be there for people. She wants to help people. Okay, so outcome. What is the outcome? And the outcome is the witch of water. So let me see. Okay, so the Witch of Water is actually the, uh, the Knight of Cups for this deck. Uh, this deck is kind of uh, unique in the way that it sees the tarot, uh, but I'm going to go with my psychological uh, interpretations. So uh, the card of the the Knight of Cups is the card of the Fantasizer. And if we're looking at the outcome and we're looking at someone who is a fantas Fantasizer, we see missed opportunities. Missed opportunities because, uh, because someone here lives in a fantasy world. So if anyone will come here with this ball of trying to offer some kind of, or any kind of uh, gift or a, uh, an olive branch or a gift of uh, come and sit and drink tea with me and let's uh, try and talk. Uh, the other side will not answer uh, because 
he lives in this fantasized world, fantasy world. I can see this as Camilla coming and trying to persuade Harry to try and talk with Har with the um, with the um, with Charles, uh, trying to uh, swallow her uh, pride and whatever he did, and whenever she is. Uh, uh, she has uh, endured uh, to try and uh, really uh, give give him the chance to uh, redeem himself. But he lives in this world of fantasizing that he needs uh, some the, the king to come over and say something or to the king to make the the first step the the the, the, the fact that camilla would do the first step is not enough for him, for him now i don't know what this uh, small what this creature is but all of these creatures of water are making me think about those seals that he went to swim with because uh, they sang when Megan sang to them. And uh, all of this reminds me of his fantasy of this conversation between Megan and the seals and his ability to go and swim to the seals in the Scottish Scottish uh, Sea, uh, despite the uh, the dangerous uh, uh, dangerous uh, creatures there, so, or the dangerous uh, fish there, uh, this looks to me like Camilla trying very hard to uh, to make peace, and Harry lives in this world of fantasy is unable to take the rope that she's giving him, unable to take the, the, the ladder that she's giving him to get off his very, very high tree that he climbed on. And he is uh, rejecting her and rejecting whatever she's trying to do and, and misses the opportunity to make peace with his family. This is how I see this, uh, this card. Uh, others might see this as a, a witch that is offering Harry to drink some of her uh, concoctions. And because this is uh, not, uh, not, not, this woman doesn't like, look like Camilla, but this is how I see this card. And once again, uh, because this is a card of fantasies, I believe that the fantasy that, that Camilla herself uh, has this fantasy that she could make things better, but she can't. And uh, Harry has the fantasy that his family would come and uh, ask forgiveness because they would uh, suddenly see the light that everything that they that he said were true was true, and he uh, they they did him so much wrong, and he is the one that needs to uh, that they are the ones that needs to ask for forgiveness, and they will come and cry mia culpa mia culpa and. Uh, hit themselves in the back and uh, ask for forgiveness. So I see this as really a world of, uh, uh, of fantasies that is un, is, there is no connection to reality and there is no way that this can ever uh, resolve, in my opinion. Not, not in the short term, at least. Okay, so that's the tarot, and let's go to the oracle deck. This is the Saints and Angels oracle, and this is advice for Camilla. So let's see what does Camilla, what do can we advise for Camilla? Okay, so one more shuffle.
advice for Camilla, advice for Camilla in regard to Harry's hatred and the way he portrays her in the book. Advice for Camilla in forgiving and forgetting what Harry did to her in his book. Okay, so the card that I'm getting is Higher Education Guardian Angel. So let's see what does this card says. It's interesting because this card speaks about studying, it speaks about uh, uh, gaining further education. Now, getting f further education doesn't have to be through schooling or going to university. Uh, gaining further education that could be in the things that in the things that she's doing, in the things that she's interested in. This card actually tells her to. Uh, go further and to uh, get more, get, uh, get, get to become more specialized in the things that she is interested in and pay no attention to the destruction. So this card is actually telling her that Harry is a destruction, that she should concentrate on the things that interest her, on the things that make her happy, on the things that are important to her, to concentrate on her way forward. And it goes, well, goes very well with the card of three of wands that we got on the advice uh, in the tarot uh, that calls her to move forward, to move forward in her road, in her road to get her potential, uh, to uh, get her potential uh, realized, and part of that is to get educated in the things that are important to her, whether it is her charities, whether it is the things that uh, are uh, uh, of of high interest for her. This card is telling her to move forward in her life and to leave Harry and his hatred and everything that he's spewing behind her because it's not as important. It's more important to move forward, not to dwell in the past. So this is it in this reading. I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave me a comment and share my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.